Are you ready to get to work today? Zelda? What do you think? What's into that purr box, huh? Beautiful. You are the prettiest girl. Look at you. Well, good morning, guys. It's Monday. So I signed up for this weekly thing where me and a, a group of three other ladies get together and play each week. It's really fun. I can already tell that we're going to end up being friends, which is great. Uh, that's kind of the whole point, right? Get together, play games, be friends. It's really hard because with this panic attack that I had, I feel like I've had a couple small ones since Saturday night. Panic attacks are kind of like earthquakes. There's after the, the tremors that come after also. So I'm trying really hard to stay as calm as possible. I feel very, very vulnerable and fragile, usually for about a week after a panic attack of that volume. Like if they're bad enough to where I have to go to the emergency room, those are pretty bad and those are the ones that it's a little earth shattering for a little bit, you know, to just trying to get back to normal. So I'm mad at myself that I didn't see it coming better. Like I kept feeling these little things building up inside, but then I thought I was releasing them. I thought I was taking good care of myself. And oddly enough, I was still quite happy while this was going on. I had no idea that a panic attack was coming. <laughs> I'm just a little disappointed that I didn't see it, but I guess that's just how it goes. Our, our bodies are so intricate and especially our brains. Anyway, so I really didn't want to go today. It's not that I don't like going. It's not that I don't enjoy being around these women. It's just that I'm so scared to be around people when I'm like this, because I do feel very delicate <laughs> and I'm not a delicate person at all. I mean, you guys know me by now, right? I'm kind of more in your face and strong. And so it's hard for me to feel vulnerable like that. I'm scared that if they ask certain questions, maybe I'll start crying or something. And I don't like crying in front of people. I mean, I know I'm probably in front of you, but that's different, right? We're friends. I have this great husband. <laughs> I don't know what I would do without him. I'd probably still be, well, the way I was before I met him. Before I met him, I always felt like so alone. I felt like um, the whole world was, I'm not going to say against me, but judged me, right? Because I don't know, you, you would think with it being this day and age, people would be a little bit more understanding and less judgmental of anxiety. Um, but I still feel like there's quite the stigma on it. But I met Brad nine years ago now. So there's definitely even more of a stigma on it back then than there is now. But um, So I just felt very solitary and alone and sad. And it, it was really hard on me being feeling so alone. And it was really refreshing when I met him. And he didn't judge me. And he took the time to understand me and figured out what I need. And he's, he's just so good at taking care of me and helping me. Um, so he gave me a little pep talk today to um, help me feel better and to <laughs> get me going. So it's not bulletproof. I'm not like Wonder Woman, you know, ready to go seize the world or anything. But, but I do have the courage to actually go do things when he gives me my pep talks. And that's really about all that you can ask for. <laughs> um, I'm the one that has to actually do it. He can try to motivate me, but it's really up to me. I'm proud of myself that I'm doing it anyway. The boys are waiting. No, 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 no. Warm it up. I wanted to give you guys an update as far as the panic attack situation. It went fine. I just, every once in a while I start to get tense for no reason. Not like anything negative was going on. And I would just take a deep breath. I have had a few moments since then where I feel really the tightness in the chest, a little bit of 
which kind of hurts. And then sometimes it's kind of hard to catch my breath. I'm trying to be patient with myself, I'm trying to listen to my body and just do what I feel it's telling me. Yesterday, I took two naps during the day and they weren't short either. If you know who this is, you get extra bonus points. Wow. Those vintage magazines, Modern Man and Playtime. But look at these bathrooms. <laughs> They're so cool. <laughs> They've got like these cool windows on them. These are neat, right? Yes. <laughs> then I got this good looking man here with me. Oh, you look great. Look at this hallway. It's like the shining. I'm waiting for all the blood to come falling down the walls. <laughs> this is cool. I like this. We're at Grow With Video this weekend with Sean Cannell. Ah! <laughs> that was my stepmom, Susan. <laughs> okay, so this place is so cool. Look at this. Time to study. They can't see you. Then there's time to feel, time to write, time to design. They also have time to sunbathe and time to listen. Isn't that neat? I'm at the VIP event. This is a meet and greet. So here's Brad talking to my dad. That rhymed, didn't it? Here's Matthew. If you're interested, what's the name of your page? Matthew Stratton. And you can follow me on Instagram at Matthew Creative. So, yep, you guys can give him a follow if you like. He does a lot of interesting music videos. And he's a really nice guy. I think you like him a lot. Hi, guys. It's Michelle and Brad. And we're on our way to Grow With Video. It's put on each year by Sean Cannell. And we're really excited. We're, we're excited to learn and to be inspired and we're gonna show you some of the fun stuff that that happens while we're there <laughs> getting this pretty chandelier. Oh, okay. We're in this neat velvet lined room. <laughs> it's so cool. And it's pre, pre sliced too. Pre sliced. Kind of, um, what kind of, what cut is this? The, uh, this is a, oops, I'm sorry. This is a strip. It's New York. It? It's a New York strip, yeah. And this is the sea bass. Sea bass. But yeah, we are at the Bella restaurant in the Sahara. Yeah. Oh, sorry, yeah, there's uh, yeah, blackberries. <laughs> and then, of course, we have the Zeppeli. We have one peach sorbet yep. on there, um, pickled peaches, the honey vanilla sauce, and then powdered sugar on it. Pickled peaches, that sounds fantastic. They're really good when you eat it with the Zeppelin. Oh, okay. Really I can't wait to eat this dessert, I'm just saying. And then we have coffee. Oh,
Huh, just look at some of the old lights up there. Yeah. The old tiny lights. So we're driving through the old downtown part of Vegas, which is my favorite part. <laughs> I think it's your favorite part too, isn't it, honey? Yeah. Then I'm going to go take my fiesta, siesta, whatever. It feels like a party in the bedroom when I take a nap, so we could call it that too, babe. <laughs> Good afternoon. It is now Sunday. Brad and I spent Friday, Saturday, and Sunday at the Think Media Conference, and it was really good. By now, you've seen some footage of uh, the event and of the hotel. We didn't stay at the hotel, though. You can see from the footage how beautiful the, well, now it's the Sahara, used to be SLS, but how beautiful that hotel is. The conference, it was really amazing. If you're watching and you have a YouTube channel or any other social media channel, whether it be a podcast uh, or you're doing a lot of Instagram videos or you're doing uh, LinkedIn videos, any of that kind of stuff, I really, really, really recommend going. It was, uh, it was just amazing. There's a lot of positive energy in the air. I got to meet other YouTube people and network and the information that Sean and Heather and Lauren and there's other people that spoke too, but my brain's a little fried at this point. I learned so many things. It was kind of funny because the lady Heather that is part of Think Media, she, she said, she kept talking about the aha moment. I had so many, I really don't know. I, when I'm asked, well, what was your aha moment this weekend? I don't know. I kind of had 78 of them. So I'm not really sure <laughs> which one to mention. Um, but there, there was a lot that I learned. I have a lot of exciting plans for this page. I can't wait to start implementing them. So, and I'm going to go ahead and down in the description box, I will put a link to... I think there's a link to the event if you want to maybe or yeah if so if you want to start thinking about maybe going to next year's event I'll also put a link to their Instagram page because I know on there they really do talk ahead of time about when it's coming up and they talk about all the videos that they have on YouTube and the different programs they offer so that would probably be the easiest way for you to get a hold of all the information I didn't feel like anybody was trying to sell me anything either, which was really cool. I've been to some conferences where it's like, buy this, buy that, you need this. It didn't feel like that at all. Um, they did mention a couple different programs they have and how much um, they cost, but there was no pressure to do it. And they have a bunch of stuff that's free that you can do too. So I really liked that. It was really low pressure. And then... Sean Cannell, he does have the Think Media YouTube page and everything. I'll be honest, I don't watch that as much. Not that I'm not interested in it, but where I really connect with him is on his Instagram page. Every morning he does a rise and grind. Have you watched it? Because if you, if you haven't, maybe you should. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I like to wake up to rise and grind every morning. I have been for years. It just gets me ready to go. <laughs> so I've been watching that for a long time. So I will put Sean's Instagram uh, handle. Yeah, that's what you call it, right? <laughs> I'm not good at that stuff. Those terms, I don't know, right? But I will put that link. <laughs> 
down in the comment box too so that you can go enjoy them too. Well, it has been a very long weekend. Lots of information being crammed into my head. I'm a little tired. So I'm going to go take a nap. And I think after that, we're just going, we're going to have some dinner and then we're going to relax. I'm going to lay on the couch. I'm going to watch TV. I'm not going to do a lot. So you probably don't really want to watch any of it because it's kind of boring. The most important thing, I have to spend time with Zelda and Marty because they're kind of mad at us. We've spent the whole weekend at this event and no time with them. That's pretty important. So I'm going to go go take my nap and I know the cats will both come running into the bedroom and start cuddling with me the minute I get in there. Oh, I wanted to show you though. Brad got this hat at the event. Which I really like. He hasn't folded it yet, but yeah. It's like a really nice quality hat and you can adjust it on the back and stuff. But I like the gray color. And I got... Guess what I got? I bet you already know, because you know, what do I collect, right? I got a mug, which I'm really excited about. I'm going to use it tomorrow morning. I haven't used it yet because I've been at these events, but I was talking about Sean, how he does the Rise and Grind every morning. Rise and Grind. That's how he says it. So I've got, I've got this mug that I can drink out of while I watch him motivate me in the mornings. Got all kinds of neat stuff, actually. Got these water bottles. Brad and I each got these, and we got some notebooks and just all kinds of neat stuff. Oh, Brad got a, a, a Think t-shirt. So I'm going to go snuggle with the cats. I will see you on Wednesday when I do another clothing video. And if, if you don't watch the clothing videos, that's okay. I understand. I will see you Friday or Monday. On Friday, I'm going to be doing, because of the panic attack of a week ago and the little tremors after and, and how hard of a time I've been having with it, I don't have as hard of a time with it as some people do because I've had it uh, anxiety problems for so many years. So on Friday, I will be posting a video about anxiety. How do you deal with it? What do you do about it? What does it feel like? Just all the ins and outs of anxiety and panic attacks. If you're interested in that, maybe you have anxiety or someone you know does and you're trying to understand what they're going through or you're trying to figure out how to help them when they're having these moments, tune in on Friday and I will hook you up. All right, bye. It's nap time. <laughs> Here he is. Marty getting his time with mama. Huh, my little snuggle bug.